Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a shop with me. I haven't done a shop with me for a while here on my channel so I thought it was time to do another one. And excuse my voice. I lost my voice two days ago because I was sick and it's now just coming back. It's almost completely back but my voice isn't all there right now. But yeah that is what we are about to do. I'm in the parking lot of Target so I'm going to do the shop with me in Target. And then after I pick up Brian from school, I also have to go to Walmart to return something. So I will probably do a shop with me at Walmart as well. So let's see what Target has. <music>
I am now back home and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I bought from both Walmart and Target. I will share with you guys everything that I bought from Walmart first just because I didn't buy much from Walmart and then I will move on to Target and share with you guys everything that I bought from there. The first thing I'll share with you guys is this little game I found in the summer section. I thought this would be fun for uh, me and my husband to play in the backyard and then maybe for me to play with Ryan as well. I'm not sure if his hand will be too small to hold it but I thought this would be fun. It's just called Toss and Catch Game. I used to actually play this when I was a kid, so I thought this would be fun to play. The next two items I'll share with you guys are actually Easter items. All their Easter items were 70% off. Most of it was already cleared out, but I did find this. Now, my kids have never dyed eggs before. I know that's crazy, but they've never dyed eggs just because I'm still OCD and I just worry about the huge mess that they're going to make. But next year, I'm going to let them dye eggs for Easter. So I found this one I thought was cool, it's marble. So I bought a pack of this, we can do that next year. And then I just bought the little cups to use for when they do dye their eggs. And I think these were like 20 cents each after the discount for 70% off. Next is going to be this little notepad. And they have all their Mother's Day stuff out already. And I found this notepad, it comes with a pen and then in gold it just says hashtag mom life. So I bought this for my sister because I'm sending her a package and I thought I can fill this in for her. Next is going to be a shirt. And I actually bought this shirt in gray and I love it. It's so soft, so comfortable, and I love the way it fits. It's by the brand Time and True, which I believe is a new brand out in Walmart. So like I said, I bought the gray one, loved it. So I went back and I bought another color. And this was only... This was originally $8.88, but it was on clearance for $7, so I just bought that shirt. Next is going to be two little onesie pajamas for my niece. Like I said, I am sending my sister a little package, and she's in need of pajamas, onesies, or anything that buttons up in the front for the baby. So I found these two. This one is really cute. It's pink and it has unicorns, and then it buttons up in the front, and then I love the feet. The feet are like little unicorns. So that's how that onesie looks like. And then I also bought her a second onesie. And this one has a bumblebee on it. So cute. Again, it buttons up in the front. And then the little feet have bumblebees on it. My lighting's horrible, but that is how the bumblebees look like. I bought her those. And the last thing I bought from Walmart is these pair of shoes for Madison. I thought they were really cute. Now, I've never bought Madison any of these, like... I don't know if they're like called jelly shoes, plastic shoes, I don't know, but I've never bought masks in any of these shoes because I feel like it would be uncomfortable because they're usually all plastic and I felt like they would be uncomfortable or it might burn her or something. So I've always been paranoid. I've never bought them for her, but I found these. The reason why I bought them is because it's not fully jelly, plastic, whatever it's called. The inside right here has a sole inside, so it's soft. So I, like I said, I thought that was cute. So it is clear gold. And I just thought they were really cute. And they have like little flowers in the front. Not sure if you can really see that because of my lighting. But yeah, I bought her these. They also had them, I believe, in clear, white, and I think pink. I might go back for another pair depending on how they look on her. Now I will move on to Target. I'll share with you guys everything that I bought from Target. The first few items I'll share are things I bought from the dollar section. I only bought like three things from the dollar section. But I bought these little bath fizzies. I've never tried them for the kids. They looked cool. They're by Crayola. And it's called Color Twist Bath Fizzy. And they turn different colors. So I guess it starts off blue, yellow, then green. And then this one starts off red and turns blue and purple. They're only a dollar. So I grabbed this. I thought this would be fun for the kids. Next is going to be a necklace that I found for my sister. Like I said, I'm sending her a package. I found this and I thought it was cute. It's a gold necklace that says sister with a pink heart on it. So that's how the necklace looks like and I will throw in the little package that I am sending her. And the last thing I bought from the dollar section is this bubble blaster. My kids both really love bubbles. This is only $3. So you just attach the bubble solution bottle to the bottom and then I guess you put batteries in it and then it's like a little gun and it shoots out bubbles. I only bought one just to see how it works. If it works really well, then I'm going to go back and get one for my daughter. So this one I bought for my son. It's just a blue one. Next is going to be some cleaning products, and I love Mrs. Myers, so I picked up some more of this Mrs. Myers lilac scent. I really love the peony scent as well, but they didn't have any more of that one in stock in my Target. They only had the lilac, and they did not have any more of the hand soap, or else I would have grabbed that as well. But I do already have this scent, but I'm running really low. I'm almost out of it, so I thought I would pick up 
some more before they completely run out. If I go back and find the soap, then I will buy the hand soap as well. But these are the only ones they had in stock still. Then next, I just needed some more face wash. I bought this Cetaphil face wash. So now the next items are going to be candles. And yes, I know I have an obsession with candles. I don't need any more candles. I probably have enough to last me the rest of the year, but I could not pass these up. These were originally $13 each and they're soy candles. I love soy candles. And they were in clearance for $3.88. So I couldn't leave them behind, so I grabbed them. And the scent is called Pomelo Rose Water. Like I said, there are soy candles in this really pretty packaging. This one is missing the top, but it's okay. This one had the top on it, but it's like a hot pink packaging and then it has a cute design on it. It smells amazing. So for $3.88, I was not going to leave it behind. Next is going to be an iron because I do not know what happened to our old iron. We lost it in the move and I have searched high and low in this house and I cannot find it. So I have no clue where it is. We are in dire need of an iron because lately I've been using my dryer for stuff that is wrinkled and that's just taking up too much energy. So I went and bought a new iron. I bought this Black & Decker Express Steam. I don't know how well it'll work, but I needed an iron. I just grabbed it, this one. And then the rest of the stuff is going to be like clothing items. I did buy my daughter another pair of shoes, summer shoes. I found these that I thought were really cute. They were $14.99. And they look so cute on her feet. So I grabbed these and I thought these would go perfect with two shirts that I bought her. They would match really well with them. So I bought her these sandals and I thought they would match really cute with this shirt. It has two giraffes on it. So cute. I love the Cat and Jack brand. My kids own so much of this brand and they're really affordable. It's only $4.50 for this shirt. So I bought her this shirt and then I also bought her this shirt with a little bicycle and then it has a little basket and flowers in the front. So I bought her that shirt as well. Next is going to be a shirt for my son. And I found this shirt. I knew he would love it. And it says, time to wreck stuff. So I grabbed him this shirt. Next is going to be another like little onesie pajama for my niece. And it's this pink owl one. And it buttons up in the front. Like I said, they're in need of pajamas, onesies, stuff that button in the front. So I found this cute one. It's a little pink owl. And then on the feet, they have owls on it. So I grabbed her that. And then the last item I bought is a shirt for myself. I don't know why I fell in love with this shirt because I know my husband's going to make fun of me. He's always making fun of me of new stuff that I buy. But I thought it was cute. So it's from the brand And Away. And it's just like this baby pink. And then let me see if I lower this lighting. If you could see better. But it's just like this baby pink color. And then it has a pocket in the front right here. And in the pocket, it has that cute little bird. I don't know. I just really loved it. I thought it was super cute. So I grabbed that shirt. And this shirt was $8, which I think is a really good price. And I always buy my shirts a size or two bigger when it's shirts like these because I like them to be very loose and baggy on me because I like to tie them on the side and stuff. So I bought a size up in this shirt. Yeah, that is the last item that I bought from Target. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of my shop with me and mini haul. Please comment down below and let me know if you enjoy this type of video where I do a shop with me and then at the end I do a haul or do you like it better when I separate the videos when I do one video where it's just a shop with me and then a separate video of my haul. Just let me know which one you like better, which one you prefer, and I will make sure to do those videos for you guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.